Now theoretically, the live well pumps, you're supposed to be able to screw this off. Attach a water hose here and you have a wash down pump. Now here's the one from the live well pump. Not going to do much good. Here's the supplies I bought for installing the wash down pump. Ended up going with a Seaflow 55 series pump that uh, basically has 70 PSI, so that should be a good one. Comes with the filter and the half inch fittings. Went with 12 gauge marine grade wire that's going to power the pump. Here's a half inch hose with stainless steel hose clamps. Alright. Pulling off the uh, pump, the port off the pump, I had the plastic fitting. The brass fitting will screw into here to feed the hose. Eventually, the final thing to turn it on, on and off, I got a dual port position here that'll uh, provide power to my live well, which this is the original switch. I had on off switches. This is an on off on. And then this right here will go on the other switch and just be on off, turn the wash down pump on. When it comes time to do the wiring on the switches, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wash down pump switch here, which these covers from New Wire Marine just pop on there and put that on there. This one right here will still be my live well switch, but instead of an on off switch, It'll be like the nav lights, or to be on off on switch, which I have right here, so it'll go right there. You look down here, here's the live well pump. I'm gonna pull off of that port right there with a half inch feed, half inch uh, male connector to feed my wash down pump. There's the pump, access that. Well, there's the access port with the uh, nipple on it. Now we're ready to put it back in. There's the pump assembly put together. Got the raw water pickup down there. Pump's all hooked back up. All appears to be working good. I'll hook that to the wash down and then hook it up to my supply. I'm going to pull the power wire from there up to the center console. If you haven't used these glow sticks, these things are amazing. Wiring the uh, dual purpose switch was fairly simple. Basically, the live wheel switch on this side, I took the uh, positive feed off, left the power and the ground on that switch. As you can see, you see, yeah, you can see the two posts there. When I hook up my raw water pump, all I got to do is hook that up to the open terminal right here. Um, basically what I did here on this four position switch, I just relocated the ground and the power onto the new switch, which are the two yellow ones. The blue and the clear connector is what feeds the uh, live well pumps. And as you can see now, when I turn it on, that's going to be my left live well. That's going to be my right live well. I don't need them both running at the same time. I just need to keep them full. All right, got this uh, chrome plated brass uh, wash down outlet. This is just like a water hose spigot right there. Over here, I got a uh, brass adapter, half inch. That'll screw onto there. I'll probably mount it somewhere uh, back by the uh, transom or something, towards the rear of the boat. Here's where I mounted the uh, pump up under here. Um, one of the things that was a little irritating was uh, when I mounted the pump in there, uh, the flow was backwards, so basically the lines are crossed on it. Uh, instead of being nice and neat in one direction, it kind of crosses over. Other thing, somebody gave me advice, uh, put the pump on the bottom so uh, if you get any leak seals leaking, you don't have salt water leaking on the motor. So 
so all right i went ahead and took my hole saw drilled the hole for this it's inch and an eighth got some uh 5200 put that down about right like that and there we go there's where the outlet is all right got everything hooked back up here's the wash down Here it humming. There's the supply. I'm gonna hook these up here in a minute. Right live well, it's humming. Left right live well is humming. Good to go. Turn the pump on. Take the hose. Good enough. 